So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About uh, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. Just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Hey there, girl. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, right. took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. 
I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No! He'd say, let's go! I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can.
Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. Mr. Arthur, this trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. <laughs> Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Well, let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. 
So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. you got a couple of crack gunslingers here, but the gun's loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. He's going. Oh, shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put I think 
it's had enough. Now, Jesus, can we get back now? You gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's as lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I don't know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor? Yes. Please. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. 
They won't hear anything about you from me. But? <laughs> yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have truly broad democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change. Can they not? Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people, myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So 
You're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please. Not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're gonna send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course uh, we I'll don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. <laughs> So, turns out, all those paintings were real after uh, all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. I'm back, girl. Bonjour, monsieur. An American. Out of the way. Come on, people. Let me vote. It's a national disgrace. Good morning. Bonjour. You're walking away from history, you fools. Women and men both deserve morning, to decide sir. the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty, but somehow I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Morning, dear. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Look who we have here. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was some mess with McDaniels and Professor Bell. You ain't no executioner, that's for sure. If you think you're a bounty hunter, though, there's a poster on the wall there. You going after Lindsay Waffle? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it.
point of this? I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the care of the South. <laughs> Drive that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. Well, that's what they were, and not a penny more. What are you waiting? Looks right. Good lord, there's a lot of blood on you. I heard a couple of people saying the crowd might be getting the fight.